Ichigo is a strange guy. He is brave, he is strong, he has an innate sense of duty and justice, a desire to help and protect the people around him. And it seems like he has the means to do it. The Soul Society arc is just Ichi blasting through any sort of difficulty, any opponent that gets face to face with him. Jidambo, Ikaku, Renji, Zaraki, even Byakuya himself, who appeared to be in a world of his own at the beginning of the saga. No matter the challenge, Ichigo has so many hero moments during his first visit to Serite. He grows so fast, he overcomes every obstacle on his way. He seems to be sure of himself. He has the confidence it takes to be him and not just one amongst the others. The confidence needed to find a way back to Rukia and save her from execution. Nonetheless, Ichigo carries with him the burden of trauma. The trauma of his mother's death and the sorrow, the sense of guilt for being unable at the time to protect her. Ichigo carries on, but this desire to save and protect those in need becomes his main drive. And it's stronger, and that's not a casualty, towards the feminine figures that gravitate around his life. Firstly Rukia and then Orihime. Ichigo's blade hands him only one very iconic and strong technique for the vast majority of the story. Getsuga Tensho, a crushingly powerful swing that helped him cut through adversities many times. He is a teenager, and as many teenagers he goes through a lot, mostly coming from himself and his insecurities. He doesn't know what his future would be, he doesn't know anything about his family. Frankly, he doesn't even know anything about himself, and this reflects in his weapon. He doesn't know what his role is, and while he sees bigger menaces presenting themselves in front of him, in the form of Aizen and Yarankar, is struggling at the same time with his inner demons, his hollow nature. He goes from feeling on top of the world to being scared to use his own powers, unable to control them, and then afraid to not be enough against an opponent that seems virtually unbeatable. He ends up, basically, losing all confidence in himself, just to get it back. Ichigo is special. Ichigo has what it takes to beat Aizen, but it doesn't only have to do with his powers and his last Getsuga Tensho. It has to do with his sense of duty. He's not sure that he can beat him, as he did not with Okiora. He just knows he has to, and that's what makes him a hero the most. Courage to walk through fear, as Bleach tries to tell. Then, he actually loses all of his powers, just in order to defeat Aizen. And even though he tried to give a meaning to a spiritless life, something seems to be calling him back. He doesn't want to go back to a normal life, his powers gave him the opportunity to defend what he really cares about the most, and now he can't stand a life without all of this. And he can't even stand a life without the people he met along the way, even though he pretends not to miss them too. He seems to be on the verge of getting everything back, thanks to the Fullbringers, just to lose it all again, stolen by Kugo who betrays him and leaves him with nothing. And there, his world collapses. It's the first time we really get to see Ichigo on the ground, crying almost childishly, telling an opponent that he thought was a friend to give him back what was taken away from him. But this time, it's the people he's helped and protected that come to help him. He's not in this alone. Nobody can do it all alone. And when Ichigo's power is back again, he's stronger than ever ready for the final crucial battle, while he has to come to terms with his past and his true nature. And who knows what awaits us in the future? Ichigo resonates with me a lot. I felt very close to him as a character, and I think I can relate to him to a certain degree. He goes from being outstandingly strong to adapting every inch of himself. He learns to find himself again and anew, through struggle and pain, thrown in a world he doesn't feel a part of yet a word he doesn't understand. And through the last years of my life, I think that, yeah, I've had similar experiences. Highs and lows, adapting myself a lot, feeling overwhelmed, like I know myself very well, yet I know nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> He's a shonen protagonist, but if you ask me, a pretty atypical one for the time the story was written. And all of this considered, it's no mystery that it's been such a big inspiration for the current generation. Long story short, I basically said, yeah, let's try and have a look at Bleach since I never gave it a go, 
And I ended up binge watching the entirety of the show and reading the manga to finish it off in something like a month. And what a crazy experience it's been. So, thank you Ichigo. Thank you a lot. <laughs>